Hey guys, this is Steel Kid Gaming here, back with another scripting tutorial. And today I am going to be uh, teaching you about how to make an invisible block in Roblox or in Roblox Studio. Now, in if you want to get a bit more in depth, what I'm really going to be teaching you is just in a script how you can make a block invisible or turn it, uh, or sorry, and make it visible again. Now, I covered a little bit of that on a previous video, I believe. If I didn't, then you can correct me. But this thing, this um, property right here called transparency, this determines whether um, the, sorry, transparency determines, well, the transparency of the block. Like right here for base plate, or I turn the transparency to 1, you can see it's fully invisible. 0 0.5, you know, half visible, half not. You know, zero, you can't see through, it's fully visible. Things like that. <clears throat> so, I am actually going to be teaching you about how to do that, but in an, in a script. So, maybe when you're uh, making a game and you want this, maybe this block to be visible for maybe like the first 10 seconds of the game, but then eventually maybe it, uh, get, uh, sorry, um, it turns invisible. But then maybe even later in the game, you might want to turn it back visible for some reason. Well, I'm going to teach you uh, how to do that. So yeah, let's just get straight into this. I'm uh, going to name this block for uh, easier uh, ma maneuvering, I guess. Alright, so in the script, um, you could probably guess what we're going to reference today, and that is going to be transparency. Now, always remember that zero transparency means it's not transparent. One means that it's fully invisible, it's fully transparent. So, uh, you can really change this block's transparency to anything you want. You can be super exact, maybe 0 0 0.98 if you want. But for now, today, we're going to just stick with zero and one. So, the way to actually do this, there's two ways you could do this. You gotta do game dot workspace dot block dot transparency now you could do that but sometimes you might have multiple things that are named block and you know things might get really messy so instead of actually referencing block from the game we're actually going to do it from the script we're running because this script knows two things the game we're in and also this um, where they're placed, where their script is placed. So instead, we're actually going to say script.parent.transparency. So what this does is we're actually referencing the script first, not the game, and then we're referencing its parent. In this case, it's block. Then we can reference the transparency, which is right over here. Or in other words, this block's transparency. So now we've referenced the transparency, we just have to set it to a value. So I'm going to say equals 1. This is basically saying, oh, script.parent, so we're now referencing the block, dot transparency, we're referencing the transparency property, and then we're setting it to 1. So if I run the game, yeah, man. I know. Apologies for it being so slow. But as you can see, it has fully disappeared, it has not moved anywhere. I'll go through here, you can see it's not here, it's it's still here, it's just that it's invisible, as you can see. Now, sometime, now so usually it's not actually this simple. Maybe you want it to come back visible in maybe like 3 seconds. So we're going to make just a basic script to do that. So let's say for the first 5 seconds of the game, you want it to be fully visible. And then maybe five seconds later, you want it to be, in be, be invisible. And then five seconds after that, it'll turn back visible again. So this is actually what it, this is um, what it's going to do. Oh, sorry, this is what that script's um, going to look like. I'm going to quickly run you through what uh, this is and maybe when you might use it. So um, when the game starts, this timer instantly starts running okay like the second the uh server or just the game in general starts this wait 
five seconds is going to run. <laughs> so because this block is fully visible right now, nothing's going to happen to it for the first five seconds. So technically, you could actually do this. But because block's transparency is already set to zero, you don't need this. <laughs> so after five seconds, it's going to turn invisible. Because uh, this wait five seconds is basically saying, well, wait five seconds before going to the next thing. Then it's going to turn invisible, so transparency to one. Then five seconds after that, it's going to turn it back visible again. In other words, set its transparency to zero. And I can show you right here. So of course, nothing's happening right now. But if we wait five seconds, boom, it's turned invisible. And then if we wait another five seconds, pop, and it's back. So this is just a basic thing that you could do. Um, sometimes, like in some cases, in uh, some of the games that I make, I like making things invisible and then visible again, maybe uh, to make someone memorize where these blocks are. Maybe they want to catch them, you know, step on them, I don't know. But these could be really useful if you're making obbies as well. Because maybe these could be like set as walls and you have to remember where the walls are or else they'll, the walls will kill you. You know, stuff like that. So that's actually pretty much all I have for you in this video. Um, yeah, I guess uh, I hope this helps you in some way. Have fun scripting this. I know it was a very short tutorial. I'll probably come up with more later. But yeah, that's really all I have for you. So uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video, and yeah, have a good day. Also, uh, stay safe right now because COVID-19 is getting pretty crazy. So yeah, stay safe and have fun scripting. Bye!